during the last 15 years approximately? There was one thing, that evolved dramatically. LED lighting. And since 2004, this technology, has never stopped evolving on cars. And obviously motorcycles. But in the customization world, I have seen most builds, following what the aftermarket has to offer. And this is the point, where today's machine, changes everything. It goes far beyond, what most people would expect. In fact, it almost reaches the unbelievable. Fortunately it is real. And it looks fantastic. Welcome to Racer TV. If you are searching for something new, you are in the right place. It is not only new, but also very bold. At the present moment, you are looking at three groups of different features. Some of the parts, you already saw before. Others, are strange and suspicious. And many of them, do things they weren't supposed to do. This BMW, may look great on daylight. But it is during the night, that it is absolutely stunning. I am sure you are now having some drawn memories, if I may say so. If you think this bike is impressive, just wait until you see how it was built. This awesome machine, was built in the US, by Mitch Whitcamp. Believe it or not, he is not really a professional builder, although he has a few builds on his curriculum. He is more like a custom enthusiast, who grew up working on cars. His passion for motorcycles, began only 10 years ago, when he converted his Honda Shadow, into a bobber. So, this project started several years ago, with this K1100 LT. But with the pandemic, it was very difficult to keep the project on the right track. Until the day that Roland Sands Design, announced the 2022 Dream Build Off competition. This was the spark, that gave all the motivation he needed, to finish the project. <laughs> This, is the sound that came out, from a 204 pieces of stainless steel pipe system. Does this mean Mitch welded those 204 pieces? No. To get to this point, he welded more than 400. The truth is, Mitch didn't have any experience on welding stainless. And after 60 hours of work, this was the result. Not bad for a beginner, but for a professional, it looks very bad. But thanks to the tips from a gentleman, who saw this photo on Mitch's Instagram, his welding skills, improved dramatically. But I also have to recognize, it sounds very good indeed. As you may expect, the electrical system, was another very hard challenge. Mitch started, by eliminating about 95% of the original wiring. He wanted to make sure, that all the wiring would be well hidden, to get this clean atmosphere. One of the solutions, was to create these side panels. But this one, is quite interesting. 
try to guess what is underneath. Impressively, Mitch made a completely new liquid coolant reservoir. And he did it in the coolest possible way. This leads us to the awesome LED lighting system. There are some custom projects using a similar lighting approach. But this one reaches a whole new level. Mitch made an excellent decision on keeping the aluminium raw appearance on most surfaces because it helps the acrylic panels to look very discreet on daylight. As you may have noticed, several aluminium panels were created from scratch to fit the acrylics. But what is really interesting, there is no CNC milling machine on the process. Everything was completely handmade by Mitch itself. I must say, it is very impressive to see the time spent on every single piece of this astonishing project. Especially on all those tiny details. In fact, seeing these video sequences, we get the idea that making those small pieces demands as much work as on the bigger sections. And to make things even more interesting, let me tell you that before this project, Mitch didn't have any experience on welding aluminium. And here is a very interesting question. When all the acrylic panels are on, are the turn signals visible enough? And my best answer is, a really big yes. Behold. Probably the biggest turn signals you have ever seen. I really can't imagine them bigger than these. On the top of the fuel tank, a beautiful custom made fuel cap. Next, there is a custom made aluminium housing for the Moto Gadget digital gauge. And this apparently strange device is a Scott Solins steering damper. But to keep everything with the same raw aluminium appearance, Mitch spent several hours using his secret main tool. The front forks came from a Suzuki GSXR1000. In what concerns to the rear suspension and subframe, they were made according to the Brazilian Lorenzo Brothers specifications. Another interesting detail, the two wheels seemed to match perfectly. This could even be quite natural, if the wheels didn't come from two different motorcycles. Because the rear wheel is from a BMW K1200, and the front one is from a Triumph Speed Triple. I could spend 10 more minutes describing all the details and modifications. And even if I did, it wouldn't be enough to show the enormous effort and perseverance that Mitch invested on this astonishing machine. Was it worth it? Of course it was. Because it won the first prize of its category on the Roland Sands Design 2022 Dream Build-Off competition. And why am I not surprised? If our brain memories were organized into file folders, most people would store this BMW on the section labeled with very impressive motorcycles. No ride ready. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.